Hi there, welcome to this episode. If you've been watching the videos and following the classes, I'd like to give you a big applause. Good job! From now on, I'm going to try to speak more Chinese and less English. I think the biggest challenge for you to learn Chinese, maybe not because you're not diligent, it is because you don't have a Chinese environment to practice. English is your comfort zone for learning Chinese. Like me, I advanced my English much faster after I came to US. So I hope you use this. So I hope you take this as an opportunity and a Chinese environment and try to speak, write, and think in Chinese. I know a lot of Americans, they were told not to be loud and to bother other people from a very young age. But studying language is a different story. To be loud and talkative is good for learning Chinese. So please follow me in these sessions, read it loud, and also use your mouth, ears, eyes, mind, and your hands all together to practice. And this way, you're going to make progress much faster. All right, so let's start today's session. I have all these Chinese characters, and then I'm going to start to read it loud, and then just want you to get used to it. You don't know how to write it yet, or even the meaning of it, but just get used to my pronunciation. Zhong Wen Zi Du He Xie Di Qi Ji. Zhong Wen is Chinese, Zi character. Du, reading or pronunciation, He and Xie, writing. Zhong Wen Zi Du He Xie Di Qi Ji. This week, you learn these five characters. First one, Kan, 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 Kan. Second one, Jian, 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 Jian. Third one, Wen, Wen. Wen, Wen. Fourth one, Zi, 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 Zi. Be careful. This is Z. It's not a Z H. So it's Z, 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 not Z, Z, not that one. It's Z, Z. Last one, Da. 大, 大, 大. All right, let's look at the strokes. First one, 看, 看. We start with a 撇, and then followed with a 横, and then second 横, and then another 撇. That's the top part and the bottom part start with shu and then followed with this called heng zhe go heng zhe go and then we followed with heng second heng and the third heng to close it let's look at the live strokes all right Again, the last time. All right, that's Khan. Second character, Jian, Jian. All right, 
right? So we start with shu, and then this heng zhe go, and then another heng, another heng, and then the fourth heng to close it. That's the top, and the bottom. Pie, and then is this one, shu one go to finish it. Let's look at the life again. Last time. All right, that's jian. This character, Wen, Wen. This is a simpler one. We have four strokes. Start with Dian, and then Heng, Pie, Na. So let's look at the life. Last time. Okay, so that's Wen. Zi. 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 We start with the Dian, and then this one here is another Dian. Then it's a Heng Go. Heng Go. This stroke. The bottom part. We start with heng, and then a pie, and then the next one is shu wan go. Shu wan go. I told you this one also called shu wan go. So this is hook to the right. So this is hook to the left. So this is also shu wan go, and then we ended with a longer heng. So look at this life. All right, one more time. That's zi. The last character, da, da. This is the easiest one. Start with a heng, and then pie, and na. Only three strokes. So look at the life. So you see da here. This is not the best example because the whole character is too much focused to the left part of the quadrant. So we try to keep it more balanced and centered. Again, five characters. Kan, 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 kan. 剑，剑，剑，剑。文，文，文，文。字，字，字，字。大，大，大，大。All right. Now, the writing part. All right, we start with kan.
，见，见，见。见，见，见，见，闻，闻。闻，闻，字，字，字。字，大，大，大，大Now we've learned a lot of new characters, so now we can try to compose words. The first one, 文字文字 This is a very commonly used word. Its meaning could be words, texts, literature, or classics. I want to tell you in Chinese. 文字 itself could be a singular concept or plural form, so it has the connotation of both. So not like English, when it's a plural form, you need to have an s at the end. No, Chinese, one word it could mean many or just a single. 文字文字文字，文字。Next one， 大人，大人。The meaning is adults， but it could be one adult or many adults。大人，大人。Next one， 大地。大地，大地。The meaning could be the earth or a big land. This one, 天大地大，天大地大。The meaning is as big as the sky and earth. So we know this is 天 Is the sky of the heaven, 大 meaning big, and 地 is the earth, and another big. So together, it's very big, as big as the sky and earth. This one, 一 we know is one, so 上 and 下 you learned already. So 一上一下 Meaning one up and one down, 一上一下 one up and one down. This one, 看见看见 is a very commonly used word, meaning look and see. 看 usually it's just the action of Look, 见 meaning you see it. So you wanted to look at something, doesn't mean you see that. So 看见 together is look and see. The next one, 
，看星星。You know, 星星 is star. So 看星星 meaning look at stars. 看看星星，看星星。Next one, 看日月 meaning look at the sun and moon. 看日月。看日月。This one, 看人 meaning look at people. That's the superficial meaning. Deeper, it could mean to tell a person's quality. So if you say somebody is very good at 看人 meaning that somebody is really good at find out. The quality of that person. 看人，看人，看人。The last one. 人见人爱，人见人爱。So 人 you know it's human or people. 见 you know this is see. Another People or human or person, and this character you haven't learned it, so this call pronounced as I. I, you know there is a heart, 心 in the middle. So this character meaning love or like. This is very commonly used. I, I, I. Love or like, so let's guess the meaning. 人见人爱 So people see and people like or love it. So as soon as people see it, and then people like it, so that's meaning something or some person very popular or beautiful or adorable. So as soon as people look at that person or that something, and become like it or love it. So, for example, a baby, adorable baby, a kitten or puppy, it's something or somebody. 人见人爱 All right, we finished this episode. Chinese language reading and writing, the seventh episode. Okay, we just finished it, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you. See you next time.